Hello, Doctor. We are from Marine Productivity Group 6. We'll be presenting the method of sampling by using an instrument called as bongo net. So right now, let us start with what is bongo net. Bongo net. Bongo net is one type of blender net that will be used to collect zooplankton. This instrument consists of four important components, which are stainless steel frames, depressor, PVC collecting bucket, and net. First, stainless steel frames. Modern of two blender nets together in a double ring construction, giving a shape to the opening of the net. Next, depressor. Add as a way to the bongo net. Let the bongo net to reach the certain water depth that needs to be discovered. Third, PVC collecting bucket which attach at the end of the two long net bags. They use to collect zooplankton after the net has been raised by using seawater. Lastly, net. Net is used to trap the zooplankton with the two different mass size of net 300 50 and 500 micrometer, it can work simultaneously capture the different size of zooplankton required. Let us start the operation of bongo net. To start sampling process, the very first step is to record the initial location. Next, record the initial reading of the flow meter. During the sampling, the flow meter will be attached to the opening mouth of the bongo net to record the amount of water filtered by bongo net. After that, before lower the bongo net, it has to connect to the towing wires of the cable depressor with the rotatable connection point of stainless steel U. Then, tie the flow meter. Next, lower down the bongo net vertically into the sea by using a machine. Bongo net will be horizontally rotatable once the depressor has been lowered down into the sea and capture the zooplankton easily. The time, location and depth of bongo net tube must be recorded. After few minutes bongo net tow back, the last position and time M must be recorded. The final reading of flow meter also need to be recorded for the calculation of the volume of seawater filter. The next step, after bongo net being pulled out vertically, it must be rinsed with seawater to avoid the death of zooplankton and to make sure all the zooplankton trapped in the PVC collecting bucket. After all those procedures, prepare the required equipment to collect zooplankton, which are the sampling bottle, tray, and filter. After that, the lid of the PVC collecting bucket must be removed. Rinse the PVC collecting bucket several times to make sure all of the zooplankton rinse out from the bucket and going into the tray. Then, pull all the zooplankton in the tray into the filter and rinse several times to make sure all the zooplankton trapped in the filter. Then transfer the filter that trapped the zooplankton into the sampling bottle. Finally, formalin is placed in the sampling bottle for zooplankton preservation. That's all from our group. Thank you and Assalamualaikum.